because he's the one that kind of conceptualized it really well. I was already doing this, but I'm gonna give credit to him because the way in which he described the process, he gave the names, I'm gonna make sure I shout out to Brian. Um, he, he basically came up with that name and the theory is you produce awesome content. So, so what you're doing is you're doing a service to the internet, you're doing a service to the, to the general user and you're doing a service to Google and you're doing a service to you. Let's say you find a, um, a post, I'm going to use another client's example, the 27, you find a post, you do a Google search, you find 2017 engagement ring examples. Then you create a post that says the 2018 engagement ring, uh, sorry, let's say the page is the 2017 engagement ring trends and basically you, you, you kind of have a site where you're showing rings from a time where maybe certain things are in fashion, so just stay with me. And then in 2018, you're producing a new content that maybe you elaborate more, you, you, you actually show more different rings that, and also back it up because maybe Kim Kardashian is wearing a particular style or another celebrity is wearing a particular style and that seems to be trending more. You produce that content on your site. So you make, basically what I'm trying to say is, you take awesome content that already exists out there that another influencer is linking to. So let's say, let's say a broader magazine is linking to a, 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 a page that either one maybe doesn't exist anymore, maybe it's broken, doesn't exist. Actually, if it's broken and you still approach them with better content, they're probably gonna be more likely to update it. But let's just say, you say, look, you know, you're linking to this page, great. Don't ask to maybe remove it or anything like that. You just may not come off as a good person. Um, so you might just say, look, I noticed you linked on this page, like your page that you wrote back then, you linked to this. Um, maybe on this other page, you can link to my 2018 one. And if that other old page is linking to a broken 404, then I don't see anything wrong with you going in and saying, would you update that link to, to that broad or magazine or influencer or wherever that may be and say, I've got a better article that's a bit more updated. And if you believe, and then you don't want to spam, right? You want to, you want to write... You want to do some hard work and actually write a customized, nice, polite, gentle, soft message and say, would you have a look at my content? If you find it that it's valuable to your users, would you mind linking to it? And if you do that enough times to the right people, customized, and you're producing great quality content, it works. And I, it does work. I did it and it works. We, we did it for four or four pages. It does work, guys, 100%. So Content Roadshow, Brian from, from Bakeland Co, shout out, awesome strategy. Guys, if you enjoyed it, thumbs up, comment, subscribe, whatever you gotta do, I'll appreciate it one way or the other. Um, and I really, really love a question. Uh, if you got a question on this, please let me know.